Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and got a good one for you today. Really interesting knowledge here. I had a viewer email me about this situation on the 2021 Ford F-150. You had the V8, the Coyote. There's an additional change. So you may recall, I reported on the fact it has some deactivation. I also reported on the Chevy Silverado and the GMC Sierra 3 liter diesel having an issue or potential issue, how you want to see it, on the diesel as far as the oil pump. It's a wet belt driven oil pump, so it means the belt goes down into the oil, spins around and keeps the oil pump going. Well, it turns out it's not the only engine that's doing that. Oh no! The Ford F50 5.0 liter V8 is also running a wet belt as well. It's a belt driven oil pump. And so I got some information for you I'm going to put on the screen. Let's go ahead and talk about what's going on with this 2021 Ford F50 5 liter V8 and then we can hash it out in the comments on whether you should be concerned or if it's no big deal. Let's go ahead and get to the screen. Okay, so doing a little digging, we can see the oil pump underneath the engine right here. You can see in the yellow, this is a belt. It's an oil pump with a belt. It's an oil pump driven belt and it's a wet belt. So it sits in the oil pan as it moves that around, it moves the belt around. So we come over here, we can kind of see the timing chain, the valve covers, that kind of stuff. But really, it's that first one. That first image right there is what you want to see. And this comes down and turns the oil pump and sends oil into the engine. And as you know, as you have oil, you have oil pressure. You have a good working engine. If for some reason that belt were to fail, you would lose oil pressure. You could cause some damage to the engine because now you're pumping the engine without the oil pressure. Although there are software calibrations built in the system to prevent that from happening. Most times you lose oil pressure, you know, the system's gonna alert you, you're gonna pull over and stop because you're not gonna do catastrophic damage to the engine. However, that is still a belt, it's not a chain. When I've looked at other engines that Ford pr produces in the, like the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, they are all gear driven, they're, they're on a chain. And it's thought that chains last longer than belts, which has been the conventional wisdom for years. And so now we have this change. What's interesting with this change is remember the video we did, like I said, a link above, with the Chevy Silverado 3 liter diesel, the big stink in that one was you had to inspect the belt, this same kind of belt, at 150,000 miles. That way you inspected it to make sure it's still good shape. Now, the engineer in that video pointed out, he says, we've had engines go longer without needing a belt replacement on that. We've seen these belts last a long time. He says, it's just a precaution. They put 150,000 mile maintenance precaution. I thought it was interesting because I thought, let me go look at Ford's maintenance schedule and I have a 2021 F-150, and this is, I uh, should say, I don't know why it doesn't say on here, but it's, this is the five liter. Um, I can, let's go back and search another vehicle, but if I, if I choose 2021, and I choose Ford, and I choose F-150, and apply, it'll ask me if I want the gasoline, if I want the gasoline, and then it'll ask me in driving conditions, we'll say normal, and we'll say four wheel. Then it says engine displacement. This is where I'm clicking the five liter. So make sure you guys can see the same information I got. And I've been clicking around, um, get information on this. But if you look at the 20,000 mile schedule, you can see pretty standard stuff. Nothing that really stands out to me as being strange. And then if you look, so I was looking at 150,000 miles and I got nothing about inspect the oil pump belt. I don't have that in here at all. You're inspecting brake pads, shoes, you're inspecting the, accessory drive belts. Um, I don't think that's what they mean by that, but it could be, it could, it could be wrong. I believe that's, you know, uh, say the alternator it could be the, the motor uh, the, for the air conditioner fans or different things going on, the different accessories, not the oil pump. And looking at oil filters, trans, transfer case fluid, tires, exhaust system, heat shields, rotate tires, uh, cooling system, even at 200,000 miles, you know, you replace the engine oil, or engine coolant, uh, spark plugs, that kind of stuff. Um, I was looking at 100,000 miles. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of flipping through these, but I really don't see anything that says about the oil pump belt to inspect this belt at all. And so it could be a situation where the thing that's going to last the life of the engine, which is kind of what they said with chains, last life of the engine. I also think it's interesting was, is brought up in this form I was looking at, was that the uh, gas engines have now have less oil use in them. So if you look at the 2021 technical specs, 2021 for F-150 technical specs, on the five liter Coyote engine, you have 7.75 quarts of oil and 5W30, I believe it was 10W30 in the prior years. 
So 7.75 quarts. And what's interesting here is on the 2020 version, you have 8.885 quarts. So you have one less quart of oil in the engine. Now you combine that with cylinder deactivation, it's a really interesting controversy. Um, a lot of these cylinder deactivation from General Motors products were using too much oil. Oil usage was a big issue with that cylinder deactivation. And now you have cylinder deactivation in the 5 liter V8 Coyote and using a quart less oil. And then you add in, they change from the oil chain to an oil pump uh, belt. And so it, you have from chain to a belt and you have an even more controversy with this 5 liter V8. Uh, it's a very interesting place to be with this. Um, I checked Hemi, the, the fourth gen Hemi, as it right here. And it looks like to me that is a chain driven belt system for the oil pump. Oil pump. Um, I'm gonna say Toyota and Nissan are probably the same way. I know Toyota is changing their, probably gonna change their engine this year, make some changes. So it wouldn't be too out of the realm to think that they're gonna go to a belt. Now, why in the heck would you use a belt? You know, why would you use a belt over a chain? Why fix what's not broken? Well, a couple of reasons for that is that chains can stretch out over time. The 3.5 3 liter EcoBoost got changed in like 17, and then with a stronger chain to make it last longer um, and also to make everything work better, more efficiently. But when you look at that, as far as a belt versus chain, belts have come a long way. Again, in the interview I had with that um, GM engineer, belts have come a long way over the years and it's not like your old style belts. You know, we're not talking vehicles where you take your belt off your pants and start it up. Uh, we're talking vehicles that are very complex and they're using different materials to get more efficient and also to run quieter. I know people don't want to hear the quieter stuff. I get that in the comments all the time. But a lot of the consumers out there want a quieter engine. And so when you look at, say, a belt versus a chain, a belt's going to run quieter. It's going to be, um, it can last just as long. They tell me it can last just as long as a chain. And it actually may not stretch out as bad as a chain would. And it's going to be cooling down. It, 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 it's the oil in that oil pan, not cools it down, keeps it lubricated, I meant to say, and keeps it lubricated so that it's not just a dry belt. And so there's some really interesting changes there. And I just thought, as we talk about, you know, finding new information out, which is something, you know, these little details come out as time goes on. This is a very interesting detail that I'm going to look more at newer trucks that coming out, like new Toyota Tundra, uh, if new Ram truck comes out to make changes to Hemi, which eventually they will, are they going to run more belts? We're switching from gears to more belts. Is that the way we're heading with these engines? And I, again, it, I thought it was really interesting that the maintenance interval for the F-150 does not include checking the oil belt. It doesn't say oil belt at all on this. So, you know, in my thinking here is they must say that that is going to last forever. It's not going to be a belt that needs to be changed ever versus GM's like, hey, please inspect it in case that something happened. You know, kind of CYA. So I thought it was really interesting. I thought you guys would enjoy that uh, little snippet of detail and find it pretty interesting, especially if you're out shopping. So, you know, my advice to you is if you're going to go out and buy the 5 liter V8, don't, don't freak out about it. I mean, Ford's built a, a best-selling truck for decades for a reason. The engineers know what they're talking about. But just be aware that there are some changes here. You have some deactivation, and now you have the oil pump belt, and you have a little bit less oil, which, I, you know, give or take that right there. But, you know, those are some changes, and definitely want to keep those in mind when you're out shopping for a new truck. So there you go. There are the new changes for 2021 Ford F-150. Make sure you check the video out of here. <laughs> Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.